Hey guys, EVP Man here and Nilda. And we're at the convention center, LVCC today. Uh, we typically would do these podcast day two events in a media room, but we have some meetings early in the morning and we want to be on location. So you're going to see a lot of stuff going on behind yeah. us and hope it's going to give you a glimpse of what's happening at CES and what it's like to live the week of CES. So Nilda, we had a really great I would say it was crazy yesterday. Day we have a, we've had crazy, day, been two days. I can't. To, yesterday was day one. Yep. I mean officially CES, and today is day two CES. So, but yeah, we had uh, CES, and then yesterday we also stopped by Showstoppers. Yep. So, so let's talk about what we learned yesterday. So first of all, we started out our day meeting with Xtool. Now you have that seen fun. that we have reviewed a lot of Xtool products, and Xtool really focuses on creating solutions that allow. The average person, you, me, to create, let's say, a small business at home using laser engraving technology. This is their first time at CES, and I was very fortunate to interview Jason, who is uh, founder and CEO of Xtool, and learn more about their company, what's changing in 2025, and why they're here at CES. And Nilda, what did you think about that exchange that we had? I thought it was really good because what I love about Xtool is that they tend to uh, focus on the consumer, and they tend to, they really take feedback really well, and then they work to improve their products because again, they they want to expand, they want to just give everybody the ultimate experience, especially if you're starting and you're new to the laser engraver world, they want to make it very easy for you to use, you know, just from open from the box, you know, so you can start your own business. And I love how he said that, you know, they're, they're going to be opening a, uh, a U.S. base, that way they can, you know, provide better customer service to the people here in the U.S. Yeah, that, that I think was one of the major highlights of the conversation was U.S.-based support. Obviously, they are um, a company that's outside of the U.S. and China, and the biggest challenge you have with many of these manufacturers is getting support, being able to pick up the phone and have someone answer yeah. it and provide you answers and do it when you're on the phone and not have to wait 24 hours. So they've invested, and they're very bullish about the U.S., and they're investing in the U.S. by bringing their, again, support to be local. And all the folks with very few of them were not from the U.S. that were present even in the booth. So we saw a lot of U.S. Yes. based people. Yes. Um, we've met the U.S. team. And the other thing that I thought that was really cool about what they spoke about was the fact that they're going to be launching not one, not two, not two, not three, but how many products did they say? Remember? I believe he said six to seven. Six to seven products. And, he and said, they're not accessories either. That's, so. that's the thing that really stood out to me, that he said there weren't accessories, that these are going to be full products. And really, what Xtool has done for the creator community, and for that matter, if you are a retiree, if you are a mom, a dad, if you're looking for a second hustle, and you want to be able to do something from the convenience of your home, you want to be able to start a business, then you really need to consider what Xtool is doing for this marketplace. And we see enormous it's, opportunities and growth yes. here. And the fact that they're launching seven different products, major products that are going to expand, again, your ability to, again, create financial freedom is something that is super powerful, yeah. I think. Yeah. Now, um, in addition to talking to Xtool, we went around and we also had meetings with Reolink. And Reolink focuses oh, on security cameras, yes. right? Yes. What did you see in that space? Well, I like the security that there's a panorama. Uh -huh. And um, I like the fact that from one camera, when you leave one camera, the other camera picks up. So it's kind of like, it, you know, it comes along. So everything comes on in one video. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah. feature that they have. Yeah, so they have continuous tracking capabilities That's what they call so it. that if you basically think about you're receiving a package you're and you may have a camera like we do on our garage that's facing the street. You but see once the, you leave the, the camera area another one picks up. Exactly so you have that one picks me up and then as I go to the doorbell and you have another camera then the camera the doorbell picks you up. So you're able to see continuously what's going on. Exactly. Now the cool thing about their product line is having again that panoramic view with two different lenses which is one of their offerings but also it's the fact that they've invested a lot in giving you continuous recording. Most of these solutions today are basically um, what I would say trigger motion recordings meaning that if something comes into the camera view it records only a few seconds yeah. of what is it that they're capturing. But 
Now what the cameras are doing is that they're doing continuous recording. So the technology, the battery technology, the recording technology has gotten a lot easier for folks to be able to record even more. So that means that with a small solar panel, you're going to be able to have continual recording of everything that's going yeah. on. And they have a full suite. Not only do they have these panoramic cameras, but they also have pan and tilt cameras. And for those of you who may be in remote locations, or let's say, for example, you have a property that could be off-grid, they also have a line of cameras that are 4G um, cellular connected where you're going to be able to have continuous viewing in any location that you want. And it's going to also have that pan and tilt thing. Exactly. The last thing I'll highlight that I thought was pretty exciting about their offering is that they have onboard storage so you don't have to pay for cloud. And then also they have night vision. And the night vision isn't the black and white kind of stuff or the color. gray stuff, it's color. It's like seeing, seeing at night like if it was daytime. So I thought that, that was a that really, was, really cool yeah, offering. Yeah. Uh, What's next? Creality. Reality. Now, that was Creality. Fun. Oh my God, that was super cool. Now, you guys know we're in the maker space as well. We do a lot of consumer electronics, headphones, um, and today actually we're going to be meeting with Hisense and seeing their product line. And we saw a lot of video stuff that we're going to talk about yeah. too. But we love maker things because we like making things. And That's so fine. we met with Creality. And you guys know that we reviewed the K2 Plus, and not only did we see the K2 Plus, but we have had for the last four weeks, and I can say that now because I couldn't say anything, <laughs> I've had the Creality High. And basically it is a, um, it's a sling uh, printer, right? Where you basically have the bed is going forward and back, and that, that literally is going to be a printer that's gonna compete really well with the Bamboo Lab um, A1. Uh, they we, actually had an Amp Bamboo that they were competing with there, no? Well, no. So so what's been happening at the show, now that yeah. you bring it up, is that they're taking trade-ins and giving you a coupon towards the purchase of a Creality printer. And we saw people bringing in printers of all type. One of the printers that was there was an actual uh, K1 uh, X1C. So it was an X1 Carbon that had been turned in to be able to pick up a new uh, Creality printer, which really says a lot about the impact of the K2 Plus in this space. So, you're gonna see the high coming out on our channel um, when I'm able to post a video, but I will say, I'll give you this teaser, it prints incredibly well. And you know, from our perspective, we have a small print farm. Nilda has a farm that she runs, and we actually have this printer, the high, operating as one of our farm machines producing products yes. that go to uh, Nelda's clients. So it's that good. And by the way, it's multicolor too. But there was something else that we saw there that we were really geeked about. And you want to talk about what you thought the was super cool? The 3D scanner. The 3D scanner. That one was, I, I, with the previous ones that we've used in the past, you have to have a very steady hand. If not, it loses its, you know, where you're at and you have to start all over again. This one was just, zzz, zzz, zzz. I think it took a total, because I was recording maybe an, a minute and 48 seconds to do a full body scan. And it was, and what you saw it on the screen was perfect. So we're talking about within two minutes, under two minutes. Under two minutes. They scanned me. And it wasn't one of, the, one of those scans where someone was going like, wait a minute, let me go really slow. No. It was like, Whoa! Well, was, it was doing what She was going things. on around. All around. And, and they scanned me from, from head to toe. And one of the things that was so impressive about this, especially for those of you who know about scanning, is that scanners have a difficult time capturing texture in black. So I have dark hair, and it was yeah. able to, even though I have some salt and pepper. I picked up your salt and pepper. <laughs> it was able to basically pick up all of the texture of my hair, you know, the styling of my hair, which I thought was really impressive. And they did it very fast. Not only that, but they also showed us some um, scanning of some, uh, I would say, car parts. So yes. if you're into yes. refurbishing, uh, retrograding, if you have an antique and you can't find the parts and you want to make them yourself, this is going to be great for you. We are actually excited about the Raptor X series because for our business, we want to test it out and how we can incorporate this into our farm to expand our business. Yeah. So those of you who are interested again in business uh, application of these tools, not just for fun, because these are truly business enablers, you're going to see how we use the Raptor X once we get it to be able to uh, enhance our offering to uh, the client base that know the service. I like, I like when she was, when she did the scan, there was an area that didn't come out as clear. So you can actually, you know, put a square around the area you want it to go, go over it, and it'll go over it like really clear and come out perfect. Yeah. So I, I thought that was a really cool feature. And and to give you guys some context on this, 
uh, there was a gentleman in front of us that was getting scanned and he actually blinked when she was his doing the scan. Like so his eye was, <laughs> eye was closed and one was open as she was doing scanning. She literally went and tagged his face in the original scan, like boop, 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 yes. boop. And then basically went and rescanned his face. Just his face. And imagine how the face that she, she scanned, which was really quick with his eyes open, then overlaid on the area that basically she had tagged. And it was like that. It was like literally within seconds. Yeah. And again, those of you who are, you know, who've used 3D scanners, you know how difficult it is to align meshing. And this thing did it effortlessly. And by the way, I did ask, because I've reviewed a lot of Creality scanners in the past, and I have been okay, but not excited about them. This one excites me. It's new tech, new software. If you've had a Creality scanner before and you haven't been super excited, Trust me, you're going to be excited about this one. Yes. Uh, the other thing that we saw was the Ender. We saw the Ender, I think it was the Ender 5 Max, which is going to be something that is for, also going to be farm-based. Farm-based, doesn't right? say. So we, talk, we saw that. It's large. It has a 400 by 400 by 400 build plate. Massive in size. 700 millimeters per second speed. And I'm amazed that I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, and, uh, and we're going to be getting that on the channel as well. We've been talking to many of the leads there at Creality. So we're very grateful for the partnership that we have with them. They allow us to be honest. The good is good and the bad is bad. And believe me, when there's bad, we let them know and we share that with you. But so far, there's been a lot of good. I literally want to say that I think Creality is a new company as I've been looking at their new, yeah. uh, their new printers. They also have the Creality Falcon 2 has come out. And this is a 10 watt um, enclosed laser, very similar to a Glowforge or what you're seeing from X, from X1 or actually Xtool. So they have a new laser that was also released. Yeah. So a lot of new releases that came out. Now, there was another product that we saw, and I think that you know where I'm going now. I know. And now, I know. we were one of the very first, um, I would say, on YouTube influencers to cover a company known as AWOL. Now, this is, uh, we looked at their short throw projectors, and this was, you know, during Kickstarter. Uh, I we think we have all their projectors. Yeah, and, and but it's, absolutely. And, right. and we, so, my projector, my original AWOL projector is, I don't know what, I don't know if it's Adam or Eve, but it's, it's one of the very first ones. And that projector is something that, even as we look at it right now, we don't really have the ability to, I would say, um, upgrade it because it's one of the originals. But this is how long I've been using their products. Now, the one thing I want to highlight is that they now have a new product line that's called a micro LED wall, which is going to give you the ability to have a screen anywhere from 72 inches to 160. 160. Actually, 162 inches. Oh, sorry. So, you want to talk about what uh, that experience is like? Well, you got this. It was just beautiful. I mean, I can look at this. I mean, the brightness is so bright. Um, and it's, again, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Um, what are those things called, those little? The micro LED panels? Yeah, so think about the sphere here in Las Vegas. It's the same same concept, same everything um, that they use, and this is what they're bringing to, to the consumer. Yep. So, if a little piece uh, misses up, you can always just replace it. And I thought it was a little, I got a little scared when the guy used the, the plunger to pull, pull it out. out pull yeah, out I was like, oh my god, oh my god. But then I saw how easy he put it back in. It was like nothing. Yeah. So we're gonna go stop by AWA. We're gonna see the Valerian and uh, the new. They have actually the, the latest version of the Valerian. We're gonna see that as well, and we're gonna share more with you. That's kind of a recap of what we saw yes. uh, yesterday. There's a lot more that we saw, um, audio, video, and things that we're gonna incorporate in our updates. But let us know again if you like this content. You want to know more about what's going on at CES because again, we're now doing this in the hall of CES, uh, the LVCC, because uh, we didn't really have one of the rooms available. Yeah. And we really want to make sure that you're up to date on what's happening. What's happening in the and you can see what's going on. They actually opened up the, the door, so we're going to cut this ready. video short. Yeah. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya.